So, hey Mike, uh, you know, thanks so much for doing this, I really appreciate it. Uh, today I'm sitting with uh, Mike McAllister, he is the Managing Director of Sail Maine uh, down here in Portland Harbor, a place that's very near and dear to me and something that I support financially as well as with time and volunteering and um, it's a, such a great way to be able to get uh, kids like Wyatt's age onto the water and start to love our harbor. Um, that is such a huge part of Maine uh, and Casco Bay and Portland and all that kind of stuff. So we do a series called uh, Portland's Hidden Gems, and this is this is definitely one of them. You know, so uh, it's really cool. I'll be able to dovetail into our other series because this is definitely a hidden gem. You know, coming down and trying to just find it. You know, it's 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 um, it's well known, but if you're not in the Stanley community, it's not well known. And you've got this nice little piece of property in downtown Portland where people can come ac have access to the water. It's just amazing. Yeah, we're super lucky that we have a great re relationship with the city of Portland and thankful to have worked with them for so yeah. long. Um, and uh, we also work, work really closely with the Portland Parks and Rec Department and yeah. provide programming to a bunch of kids um, through, through some of their local community centers. Yeah. Um, but we're at the end of what's called Portland Landing. Um, okay. It used to be the end of this lot. And um, to get here, you got to kind of go past the um, uh, narrow gauge railroad over sure. the railroad tracks. <laughs> and then you know, the through the road, yellow brick road. Yeah, yeah. there's lots yeah. of zigs and zags. Um, uh, but it's a great access point, and we're really lucky to be here. Yeah. And I think it's a, it's, a, it's a neat spot for people to come down yeah. and just see the water, get, up, get on a boat. Sure. So, yeah. And how long have you found, been down here? Been the program? Uh, I've been, I've had like a bunch of different roles with Sail yeah. Maine. Um, I started like way back in probably 2003 mm -hmm. um, and spent time with a coach. Uh, I was fortunate to be on the board of directors for a bit. And then I've been doing this job as the executive director for just over five years. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. um, so if there was one area that uh, that the public or, or my community or my network could help you with, what, what would that be? Because um, you're a nonprofit, right? I mean, yeah. you operate on on donations as well as uh, program, you know, yep. and, and things along those lines. So, w what would help make Sail Maine succeed more? So, I think some of the things that we uh, need most are obviously funds are a big issue, right? Yeah. So, like we 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 give away or we reduce the cost of programming for all junior sailors by forty percent. Mm -hmm. So, we're fundraising that extra money uh, just to keep it. Accessible. If people are looking to do volunteer projects, we always need volunteers. Mm -hmm. um, so coming down, if you have skills in or around sailing, you yeah. can use those. Or if you're just kind of like, I can do handy man projects or sure. person projects, come on, like, let us know. And then uh, purchasing programs, right? So sure. like adults, if you want to learn to sail, come take it, give it a try. This, that's is, a, this is a great spot to come nice. learn to sail. Um, we do boat rentals for adults too, and that's a great way to just, you know, you, you don't want the headache of taking care of your boat. Mm -hmm. Let us let us do that, and just come down and hop on a boat. So, what kind of competitors have you have you guys produced? I mean, you produce like world champions and so, things like that. Yeah. So, um, one of our first participants, his name's Dave Hughes. He's yeah. at the Olympics right now. Oh, that's he's, awesome! Right? Uh, he's sailing four seventies. Um, last time I checked, they were in like eleven. And we we're really proud and, and thankful that he kind of came through this program. He was sailing at USM. Yeah. Um, and uh, he. Like that was part of some of the first programs that Sail Maine, so he came through here. Um, so, Mike, as I had alluded to, we're doing some three hidden gems. What would you say uh, your three, three hidden gems in Maine are? In Maine? In Maine. In yeah, great, whole, as, let's say Greater Portland. Greater Portland. Um, so one of them, if, uh, you know, the have you been to the, the Four Points food truck and bar right over here? I, I have, but that is a, <laughs> that is definitely a hidden gem. That place is awesome. Um, I, I like it because I can get lunch right there, yeah. and then after work if I need to meet with a colleague or something, it's yeah. a great place to just go right in and out. It's right on the water. Um, I think it's got a cool view, and it's a super, like, great vibe. It's yeah. pretty minimal. they got music sometimes, so I think that's a really fun spot. You know, another place I like to go to is uh, Arcadia National Bar. It's yeah. like a video game place. Yeah. Um, that place is really fun. Now they're moving, right? Yeah, they're moving to, uh, like, the, the Port City. Port City Music Hall. Yeah, so they took over that space. I don't think they're open yet, but um, that's a great place to go, too, and just, like, play some games yeah. and get away. I love the Back Cove um, yeah. in Portland. Yeah. Um, I just got into windsurfing recently, yeah. and that's like one of my favorite places to go. I think it's an underutilized water space. Mm -hmm. um, so 
So if you want to do like stand up paddleboard or kayaking, mm -hmm. like it's a great place to go. Yeah. Well, Mike, I don't want to take any more of your time. I know you're running a busy program here. I want to thank you. Um, you know, I'm Nick Danbury from Danbury Garen Real Estate Experts, uh, and I love this city. And if there's anything you want to know about it, give us a call. Come down and visit Mike at uh, Sale Main. How do they, how do people get a hold of you here, Mike? So the best way to um, get in touch with us is to start with our website, salemain.org, and you can get a lot of information. You call us 772-7245, or you can email office.manager at salemain.org. And can I thank Nick one more time because Nick has helped. My wife and I buy <laughs> two different places, and it was such a great experience. I'm probably like the worst uh, client that you ever no, had, right? Because I, like, I don't know what I want. I don't know where I want to live. <laughs> I don't know how it works. I don't know any of the things because I'm just like not really an adult yet. Yeah. And uh, Nick like helped us get through it all. Cheerleader or Stern or whatever, like you did it. Thanks for doing it. Thank you. Thank you. It's really kind. Yeah. Well, thanks guys, and you have a great day, and we'll see you next time.